Okay, this is the first video in the um, new, improved, um, OpenGL, possibly in the future, DirectX uh, tutorial series. Well, I'm definitely going to end up doing some sort of DirectX tutorial series again, but right now I'm focusing on OpenGL, and this is going to cover um, game engine sort of development. Um, very simple one that will allow you to make you know 2D games for you know potentially Linux, Mac, and Windows. Um, definitely Windows. And uh, this tutorial is basically the first one, so we're going to do some setup. Um, and the setup is going to be centered around GitHub. Now, of course, if you already have your own sort of you know repository system, you use Bitbucket. You know, you already use GitHub, and you already know this. Then you can you can skip this tutorial. Um, it's not going to be anything specific to um, the actual coding. So first, you know, download GitHub for Windows. You know, this is specific to Windows. Now you're going to have to figure out how to do it on Linux and Mac. Um, but GitHub for Windows is what I'm going to be using throughout the tutorial series. And what we're going to do is you're going to create a uh, account on GitHub. So that's, you know, it's pretty easy, it's free. Um, and what we're going to do is create a new repository. I'm going to call this one Fixin Tutorial. I'm going to initialize this repository with a readme. This is very important that you do this because it will allow us to git clone um, immediately. We won't have to do any setup. Um, this is going to be uh, I'm just going to call it Vixen Tutorial Repo. I know what that means, so that's all that matters. Okay, and now we're just going to create repository. And here we go. We got Vixen Tutorial Repo with a license and a readme. Now, when you install GitHub for Windows, you're going to get a program called Git Shell. So I'm going to run Git Shell. It should open a PowerShell. Good old PowerShell. And I'm going to cd into my um, my GitHub directory. Now, I'll show you my what it would look like uh, once we have our clone repository. Now, this is my Vixen repository. Now, as you can see, you know there are actually some changes that I haven't done. I'll show you, I added Vix log um, log class and started adding the Win32 application stuff. Um, so that's that. I'm going to CD out of that. So GitHub, um, to clone now, now that we have a repository, we're just going to call git clone and type in the um, URL for that. As you can see, it cloned it in, counted four objects, and what we should have is in the GitHub folder, we have our Vixen tutorial directory. Now, that's all we have to do for that. Um, and we can CD into it if we want. And there we go. Now, as you can see, this, this command is very useful. Git status shows you um, basically if there's any changes that have been made to the uh, repo, to the repo. So if you've modified files or you added new ones that are untracked, it will tell you the new files that need to be added and it will tell you the modified files that need to be committed. Um, now see how we're on master, generally you have a dev branch but um, and then you, you commit and push to that and then once everything's okay and working, you will push those changes also to the master branch. But I tend to not really care that much, and I just work on a master branch. Um, I develop offline anyway, like, and make sure everything works, and then I make my changes. Um, so, I'm working alone as well, too, so. Um, so next what we're going to do is actually set up a, um, uh, an example, so, or actually, I'll hold off on anything related to Visual Studio right now, um,
because when we set up the Visual Studio project, I want everyone to sort of um, get the benefit of seeing that. So to show the sort of um, commit system, I'm going to create a test document, and then I'm going to open that up and just type in, this is a test document. I'm going to save that, close, and now I'm going to run git status. As you can see, it now says we have some untracked files. So for this, it, the command is git add file. Um, you can also just add a whole directory, and it'll only add the untracked files. Um, so for this, we're going to do git add test.txt. And there you go, see that plus one, which means that it, it added it, but it's still not committed. So there's changes that need to be committed. So what we're going to do is go git commit. And this means um, the command uh, option M. Uh, is the message that we're going to have attached to the commit. Now if I don't put a message, it'll open up the notepad and it'll ask us for one. So we can put one right in here. Um, but if you don't put any, it'll abort because it needs a commit, commit message. So the message I'm going to do is um, committing test document. So it, it just committed that. Now nothing has been updated yet. So if we were to go here and refresh, we're not going to see the, the test document. What you need to do first is you need to now push it. So if we do this, what it just did is it actually uh, pushed all our commits to the GitHub repository at this address. So now if I refresh, I should see test.txt. This is a test document. So as you can see, that's really how it works. Um, it's very, very simple, very easy. Um, and we're going to basically be doing this for our, um, our, our tutorial project. And after each tutorial finishes, we're going to do a build. What that build is going to do is it's going to take all the source files that we're currently working on in our project directory. It's going to copy them over to the Vixen Tutorial GitHub directory. We're going to do a git, a git status where it'll diff, diff the changes. And then we're going to commit the ones that we want. And we're going to push to the direct uh, to the repo. So we're basically just going to always be updating um, our last um, the files that we last you know t the last tutorials files. That way we can keep track of where we are, you know, where we were. Um, and if you, of course, need me to look at any of your code, let's say you get stuck, I will now be able to easily go to your GitHub page. So this this not only helps you, but it helps me um, be able to help you continue through the tutorial series. Um, so that's it for this, this one. Um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.